I'm Amber. And I'm Nate. And this is Married, Married to a, a nerd. nerd. In this video, we are doing another Star Wars Black Series. Woohoo! Yeah, pretty much just Black Series this time. Nothing from Nate's toy box. So. Nope. <laughs> this one is just. Uh, we have tons of the Black Series, and we've been collecting them for quite a while. We do maybe five or six to show, and yeah. kind of go through what we've got, what they were when we bought them, what they're worth now, and what we think they're going to be down the road. Value is in the eye of the beholder. That's so very true. Some things to you might be nineteen dollars, some other person a hundred bucks. So. Very true. All right, so let's dig in. Mm -hmm. So the first one we have is Mando. Mm -hmm. That was actually the first version that came out when the Mandalorian show was still going on, the uh, first season last year. He was a little harder to get your hands up. <laughs> I, know, I just like the detail. Now you see Mandalorian stuff a little bit everywhere. everywhere. They're putting stuff out. They weren't anticipating, I think, at that point to be as popular as it got. But Yeah, he was nineteen ninety nine when we got yeah, him. And we got him from the store, nineteen ninety nine, so he wasn't uh, some online purchase that killed us. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Uh, but I think he's going from 20 to 35 bucks, right. give or take. At his high, highest, when you couldn't buy any other ones, he was up around 60 or so. But That's true. But then they came out with some other ones, too. Yeah, like the they've carbon. got a lot of them on the market right now. And we have the Carbon one. I love that. The Carbon series in general is cool. But yeah. this is, a, uh, yep, his value is leveled out about $35. I would anticipate a couple of years from now it would keep going up, though. Yep. So. So that's a good one to have if you don't have it in your collection yet. Um, so the next one is also a big one. I think this one was quite hard when it first came out. Commander Bly. Yeah, he was very hard. I think he was a GameStop only one. Or no, we got him from um, we got him from Barnes and Noble. Was that what it was? Yep. Oh, we paid twenty two dollars because of the price. Yeah, he was another one. It was a brand. Oh yes. We got in bars and I remember it now. I was lucky we were in the store. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, but we got him for twenty two ninety nine, and he's going around thirty to forty bucks. Yeah. Give or take. People love the Clone <clears throat> Commander troops, and, and honestly, I'm a big fan of them too. Rex, Commander Cody, Bly, and uh, Commander Wolf too. He's another one we got in our collection, I believe, and he's a another one that's up there in value. But yes, so people love a, their clones. If you're a clone collector. Like me. Definitely get this um, black series. It's really cool, and the detail on them is amazing. Mm -hmm. so. <clears throat> so the next guy that we're bringing out, he was actually in a video game, mm -hmm. and we got lucky. Um, I think your sister actually picked her. Picked she him did up. at the beginning of the pandemic this last year. Um, they had a Cal Kestis. In the GameStop back where I come from, about 10 hours from where we are now, and she went and did a pickup order outside of it. And if you know my sister at all, you know it was a big deal. And I got a, about five or six phone calls telling me about how big of a deal it was. So, Tammy, if you're watching, thank you. <laughs> we do appreciate it. Yeah. Cal Kestis, uh, with, uh, I can't remember what the little droid's name and the, the games that say down there. No. But anyways, Really cool character. Awesome. We love Jedi Fallen Order. Uh, we both 100% of it. <laughs> droid's name is BD1. BD1, that's Look right. that little droid. He's so cute. Right. I think I really like it for the droid than oh, anything the else. The game was so much fun, though. The game was yeah. fun. It's one of the few ones that my wife's ever completely 100%ed. It got every achievement, yes. tried to do every little thing you possibly could. I was very proud of myself. Mm -hmm. We both had our own separate games going. We got very angry when the other one played it. So. Sorry, right. sometimes it happens. <laughs> yep. But yes, Cal Kestis and BD1. Yep. Definitely one of my favorites, actually. It's I very think, cool. Uh, Two characters for the price of one. I think for him, he's actually going for between 52 to 80 some bucks. Right. Um, I know he he's, is very difficult to get a hold of. Now, they are yeah. coming out with another version of him with the newer Black Series packaging I saw the other oh, day. Oh, really? Yeah, so uh, I think it's got like different color clothes. I think a. Uh, I know they have a, yeah. a white, like a white or silver color box of him, and he's going for some money, too. Yeah, that that was like the first version. Oh. Me, Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope! Yep. This is the younger Obi-Wan, of course, here, from Attack of the Clones. Uh, we just picked this up the other day. Love it, honestly, the detail. Yeah, it. it's super I think we cool. got it on Macari. Mm -hmm. um, he was... I want to say 24 bucks, give or take. Yeah. 
Papa. Um, and he's ranging between 20 to 28. However, I think that this one's a good one to have because they're supposed to be coming out with the TV series. Yes, yes, yes. Plus, the um, prequels are getting... I don't know. People are... There's a lot of younger people that like the prequels quite a bit. The older I Star like Wars fans didn't like them for some reason. I don't know. I love them. I, I love the Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith, yeah. Phantom Menace. They're all cool. So, so that's a definitely mm -hmm. one uh, to pick up if you are a Black Series um, getter. And... And then this is my this favorite. Padawan, Anakin Skywalker. Anakin Skywalker. I got super lucky with this one. I actually walked into GameStop and I got him for 20, 22 bucks. Mm -hmm. um, local GameStop was yeah. overstocked. Somebody had like pre-ordered like 15 of these and they just had a ton of them on the shelves everywhere. Yeah. Not so easy to very, find I got very, very lucky. I think they're all gone now. Yeah, if you could find the Revenge of the Sith one in particular, oh, either the reissue or the original, those are both over a hundred dollars easy. This but one in particular is he's between twenty to twenty six bucks. Yep. Um, but again, with the Obi Wan Kenobi show coming out, and he's supposed to be in it, mm -hmm. um, I feel like this is another great one to have. And I like Anakin. Yeah. I've always liked Anakin, even though he turns into Darth Vader. Spoiled for anybody who hasn't watched it. I don't know what you're doing. Um, they must have watched it. But this is a really good one to have. And I like it. You can go with my Darth Vader. Very good one. Last but not least. One of my favorites. This is one that you've had for years. Yeah, Darth Maul. I wish I had the original issue in the 2013, black box. 2013, I think. If I'd have had the original issue in the black box, ooh, that one's worth a lot more. This was the reissue. But, um... Yeah, the original is well over a hundred. This one approaches a hundred, so. Yeah, this one's mm -hmm. pretty pretty awesome. It's uh, yeah, the cloak and spy goggles and everything from a the Phantom Menace movie. Yeah, it's cool. Definitely love this one. Box is still in pretty darn good shape too. Little bends here and there, but not too bad. Yeah, we need to get a case yeah. for some of these. Yeah, I'm feeling his character is gonna have a little bit more life in uh, Disney going forward. Yep. Always been popular, Ray Park, as uh, Darth Maul. Mm -hmm. So yeah, those are some of our uh, Black Series that we have. What Black Series do you have? Are there some that are coming out that you're excited for? Are there ones that you're wanting them to do and they haven't done? Let us know in the comments. We love talking about Star Wars mm -hmm. and that's why we do these videos sometimes is because we want to reach out to our fellow Star Wars fans. I know my next one I'm planning for is Admiral Ackbar. It's a trap! I gotta have it. I love it. So, But, um, yeah. Like she said, tell us what your favorite Black Series characters are. If it's not Star Wars you're into, maybe you're into Marvel Legends. One yeah. of those. You can have some of those. We collect those as well, too. So. Yep. We mm -hmm. might do a video on that once we have a little, little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, but Yeah, it's not nearly as big as our Black Series collection. But we nevertheless do collect some of them. A lot of them are out of the box. That's true. Very <laughs> so true. So we'd like to play. <laughs> he does. But if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and hit that uh, like button and hit the bell Ding. to get notifications when we're going to have new videos. Um, yeah, this is something that we like to do. We hope you guys subscribe. Um, and also, make sure you check out our uh, giveaway that we're doing. I'll put the link above. Approaching 200. Help us get there. We need your we help. We need your help. Mm -hmm. We need your help, Obi-Wan. You're our only hope. Yep. Like she said. <laughs> 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 anyway, may the force be with you. Be nice and kind to everybody. Bye. Bye.